All right, peace, peace, black family. So first and foremost, let me deal with the first question some people may have. Brother Hassan, why are you in the bathrobe? Uh, for those who do not know, um, I've been dealing with uh, a supposed corona uh, infection um, for a couple of days. Uh, my sister came through. Uh, shout out to Melanie the Glow. She came through and hooked it up with some stuff, uh, with some edelberry and some other you know, things like black seed oil. And I also went to some other herbalists, but I'm feeling a lot better now. You know, I had a shortness of breath before, couldn't breathe properly. It felt like a fat white woman was sitting on my chest. Um, you know, my throat was very, very severe. And when I would cough, no mucus would come up. So that was like very, very weird because most people who do know when you got a cold, you, you, you cough or you bang on your chest, mucus comes up. Nothing wasn't coming up. But Thankfully, because of uh, the African culture and because of our way of life, I'm feeling a lot better. But I am going to continuously steam bath. So this is why I'm in my role, because I'm on my way to my kitchen to start my steam bath. Anyway, today's video um, is about the idea that we can be pro-black and still practice multiculturalism. Now, for those who don't know what multiculturalism is, it's basically the blending of other cultures, meaning African people, right, whether you're ethnically African-American, whether you're Haitian, whether you're Jamaican, blending in with other cultures, right, meaning Asians, Europeans, mixed race people, because they are not of our culture either, um, you know, Arabs and et cetera, et cetera. This idea that, you know, we must fight against the system as a unit because the system, you know, sees us as a unit. I don't know much. I only know what the ancestors and what the elders have provided me as far as information. And I take that and I turn that into um, a realistic way of thinking. Right. So I read books like Chancellor Williams, The Destruction of Black Civilization. I listen to people like Dr. Amos Wilson and some of the things that they foretold when they were, you know, elders. Are coming true now that they are ancestors. Right. So we have. Black people who are promoting the idea that we should be about black empowerment, but somehow not distance ourselves from other people, that we have to come together because, you know, the power structure is, you know, really attacking all of us. Black and Hispanic. Like, I'm not on that black and Hispanic trip. Y'all can y'all can get off that 100%. Either you African or you not. I'm not on the bandwagon because I know how white Hispanics, mestizos, mixed race Hispanics, how they treat Africans in South America and in the Caribbean. This is a fact. So we're not going to play this whole, oh, well, you know, uh, Mexicans are our brothers in the struggle. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. And and I, I'm very weary of people who, who, who preach that. To be honest with you, I'm very, very weary of that because it's like, wait a minute. Are you for the betterment of black people or are you for the betterment of all people? Because I can tell you one thing. They're not trying to better the black people. The people that you're championing and trying to be friends with and trying to be cool with, they're not trying to better the black community. They don't give two shits about the black community. Matter of fact, they are often the oppressors of the black community. Whether in Jamaica, whether in Haiti, whether in any uh, uh, neighborhood in, in the African-American community, they are often the, 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 the gatekeepers of black oppression. So I don't, I don't want to hear that. See, one of our biggest problems is that we have one Spanish cool homeboy who say nigga. He might have tattoos and goals, and we, we look at him and hold this person up and say, look, man, if him and I can be friends, why can't we all be friends? And that's the illogical way of looking at things, because the way that war works, the way that the specifically the system of racism and white supremacy works, is that it will have white sacrifices. It will have Latino sacrifices. Everybody in war doesn't pick up a gun. Some people are just distractions, like your white friend, like your Hispanic friend, like your Arab friend. That's a distraction. See, because if I'm able to put a distraction in your mind or in your community, guess what? Now, when you look at the total group, you start saying things like, well, it ain't all white people. It's the system. Wait, what? 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 Well, who the fuck?
fuck you think run the system? See, you start saying stupid shit like that. Well, you know, it's really the people at the top. What? The, what, 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 what? Okay, well, who's the people at the top? Like, let's start, let's start pinning the tail on the donkey. But when you start labeling all oppression with your bogus idea of integrationist thought, because that's what it really is. You have pro-black people who act pro-black and talk pro-black like they're in the best interest of black people, but they're really low-key, deep in their heart, they're multiculturalists. See, I'm not going to sit around here and say, it's the system. No, 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 no. Who running the system? Cracker running the system. So we need to point the, we need to point the finger at the cracker. Poor cracker, rich cracker, it don't matter. Because when the plantation system was 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 in, in, in full swing, guess what? It was the rich cracker telling the poor cracker how to oppress us. And that's the same system we in right here today. So I ain't got time to pick out the good ones from the bad ones. I'm not doing it. And anybody that sits there and tells you to do that or try to get you convinced to do that, I will look at them very, very suspect. Very, very suspect. I'd be like, mm, I don't know, boy. You you looking a little suspect. I'm telling you. And, and the reason why I say that is because, and why why would I say that you would have to look at someone like that? And this is not, I'm not saying anybody's name. Why would I say that you have to look at somebody suspect like that? I'll tell you why. I get a lot of Hispanics, a lot of Hispanics. These mixed race Hispanics, like they, they're like five generations of being mixed. You know the ones I'm talking about. Like they look a little, you know, but you can't really, you know, that the mixed race Hispanics. I don't know how to classify them, right? Not the white ones that were imported to Spanish countries, but the mixed race ones. They're like real tan and shit like that, right? A little curly hair sometimes. I get a lot of those brothers and sisters hitting me up and they want to purchase my items like they want to you know uh, purchase my dvd the lecture they want to purchase uh you know i'm an african not an african shirt right and i probably tell them this shirt is not for you and they say well i got i'm african i got african blood but uh, but, but this is not for you though this is for african people you may have african blood but you ain't african so that's the difference right so the reason why i say you have to look at a lot of these people funny is is because they're scared to lose money because they're making money off of consciousness they're making money off of being pro-black because a lot of people that support them sometimes are non-black people. I'm just being real. Because a lot of people that support them are non-black people. Now, you get black people that support them, but for the majority, you get a lot of Hispanics and stuff like that, buying the, the shit and, you know, whatever they selling and things like that. Me, I say, man, if I ain't getting no black dollar, I don't want it. I want the black dollar. Holla for the dollar. If I don't get the black dollar, I don't want it. So you have a lot of people who talking pro-black, but they dollar ain't matching, meaning that they'll take a dollar from anywhere. You know, they'll, they'll mess with any group and any ethnicity, and I'm not with that. I'm not personally with that. I'm not telling anybody else what to do. I'm, I'm personally not with that. I want black money from black people because guess what? It's going back to black people. Period. So, you know, I'm about to go ahead and stop my steam bath. But that's just something to think about, man. That's not calling anybody out. I'm not saying any names. I'm not whatever the case may be. I'm just stating the point. I'm stating the observation of how sometimes some people may start off a certain way. You know, black this, black that, black that. And then when they start receiving funds from other people, to see, this is what Garvey talked about. A lot of y'all need to re read Garvey. Garvey said, well, what must be done for the African must be done by the African. And, and when you start taking money from other people, you become their bitch. You become their hoe. So you have somebody who start off black, 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 black. And it's Hispanics dropping money. You know what I'm saying? Arabs dropping money. It's like, well, you know, maybe we should fight for the best interests of everybody. Or maybe it's the people at the top. That's who really the problem. The people at the top. The ones who, go, who started all these wars, who created racism. And you, you, get, you get all that silly shit talking. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what it becomes down to. And at the end of the day, the poor cracker and and the rich cracker, same they oppress you the same way. Cracker is the cracker. You know what I'm saying? Poor Hispanic, rich Hispanic, the same thing. Same thing. It's just different levels of oppression. Same shit. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta really peep that multicultural talk disguised as black talk. Anyway, let me get to my uh 
my, my, my steam bath. Until next time, family, think black, stay black, love black, support black, and that's real African black power.